Shalom. Let us say our praises due unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rakakwadash. The bonds to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a short lesson in regards to um, the sub Saharan slave trade. No, not just in sub Sahara, I know. Um, throughout Africa, you know, the Indian Ocean world, you know, throughout the world, you know, um, you know, our people are still in under slavery, under the Ishmaelites, and as well as under the Ish Edomites, you know, who uh, is ruling this world with the iron fist, you know, and uh, we see that, um, you know, all the the goods, you know, uh, all the traffic, you know, of uh, merchandise, you know, with ships. You know, with the Admiral Law, you know, our people were was doing that as well. But uh, our people were, uh, were you know, making a lot of profit, you know, through the whole slave trade and still, you know, um, you know, the Nigerian, uh, like the Hus, like us, not just the Nigerians, but because um, there's a whole division, the Christians. Then you had the uh, uh, Nigerians, but basically, uh, the, it's like a, the Christians and then um, the Ishmaelites over there in Nigeria. And um, they call them the Hassa. Certain tribes, they're, uh, they're under, uh, you know, uh, Ishmaelites, or it's like a, they're basically, they're sultans, you know, and uh, they're doing all kinds of things. But uh, let's read this. The Muslim slave trade was more active in the West, especially Europe and Sub-Sahara Africa. Muslim traded, uh, exported as many as 17 million slaves to the coast of Indian Ocean and the Middle East and North Africa. Right? We could, uh, you could. You now we're gonna do some other reading. Um. My reference is going to be uh, the Golden Age of the Moor, written by Rudolf R. Winter. Golden uh, Age. Uh, you could get it as a PDF. But uh, it's good to have it as a hard copy. This is a lot of the history. Um, written by uh, Ivan Sertoma, you know, uh, Israelite. And he's a historian, you know, and uh, so all the things that we have learned in school, you know, under the Esau system, you know, um, was a lie. And uh, we weren't. You know, we weren't, uh, Esau, he, uh, you know, he uh, deceived us, man, you know, with uh, lies. But uh, this is going to be uh, for this. Um, I hop right in. This is page, uh, it's very uh, in depth. Page uh, 198. It says, uh, several it says several histories records that the entrance of the Moors in, this, in 710 was welcomed by, mostly, by most of the Iberian peasants, classes, and Jews, right? And basically, who was the peasants? You know, we had the Edomites as uh, servants. You know, we had, uh, you know... And uh, you had Jews, you know, which was us, and then uh, you had the uh, Moors, or is or uh, they uh, adopted Islam as well. All right, and uh, because they were under their, under the teaching of Muhammad, you know, let the let the Mohammedans, and basically, uh, 
No, that's what happened, man. Throughout the Dark Ages and Middle Ages. You know, and uh, a lot of the... Um, the Moors or the... Um, the Sultans, you know, throughout Africa and uh, they're here too. You know, they're doing all kinds of stuff, man. You know, and uh, they're very bloody, man. That's why they wear the red, they wear the fez. You know, the, their fez hats and whatever. And they, you know, they're very uh, bloody people, man. You know, people are gone. But uh, let's go into uh, this page, 180. 198 several histories records that the entrance of the moors in 710 a.d was welcomed by most of the iberian peasant class of the jews who had been brought who had been brutally like subjugated by the visigoth all it said by the visigoth it's like by the visigoth alarchy right because our people were we set up churches over there you know and so there was uh the church right with um, the order of christ or the knights templars is what they would call themselves and then they changed their name to the order of christ over there in that region and uh so there's always been tension and basically uh 1492 when uh you know esau came back to power you know and uh the borgia family um you know basically the borgia family uh pope alexander uh the sixth of rome uh they established themselves and uh, basically uh you know a lot of our people were uh if they didn't want to convert or if they if they didn't want to follow like uh, like follow if they didn't want to follow Catholicism, you know like they were exiled, you know to a Santo made you know different p places and uh, basically our people were wicked and people were behind that. Let's get a scripture. It's gonna be uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, 28 Deuteronomy 28 verse 54 but that says so that man that is tender among you his and very and very delicate his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which shall leave behind her and that's what happened uh you know during you know when we're in the land and also uh you know when we are people were up in power our people were oppressing each other man you know and basically uh you know under catholicism or islam you know we fell all right we didn't follow you know the heavenly father man you know all right because if we were to follow the heavenly father you know uh you know that we would have still had the land of israel right now we would have had the world all right but uh this was the story that the heavenly father you know ordained all right because uh we're looking to uh you know like many promises you know in uh, the upcoming future so uh this is um let's get page 198 tolerance was very much a creed of the moorish spain so the conversion to islam was not forced for jews that it says for Jews converted to Islam as they enjoyed freedom of worship and right to live by their own customs and laws. All right. So basically, uh, that's what our people still doing, man. You know, the nation of Islam, you know, uh, you know, like they don't, you know, follow the damn Quran. What they follow, you know, like what they do, you know, with, um, Louis Farrakhan 
you know, he just goes out, you know, he, he, he has his uh, things in the synagogue and he, you know, he just uses the scriptures. He doesn't, he doesn't use his uh, lectures or his motivation on, uh, on the Quran, you know, so, uh, you know, that's what basically happened. Right, and uh, and they were paid a lot of money yeah, if they uh, if they convert you know to uh, you know like to Catholicism or if they, if they convert to uh, Islam. Let me uh, let me just uh, show you that. You could do your research as well, the Midianites or, or, or Midian, the custom of the Midian. You know, um, you know, it says uh, this is this uh, it is established the that collection. It's not gonna let me just highlight this. If I could highlight this. It established the like the collective like responsibility slakia. So it, it established the co it said the collective responsibility of nine like constitution tribes for their members' actions. It says uh it says specifically emphasize blood money and ransom payments, right? And that's what it is. Let's let's read it. The first constitution group mention of the Karshi uh, migrant followed the eight tribes. Eight Jewish groups are recognized as part of the Yashi or Yav or the Yavrib, uh, like the Yathrib community, and their religion separated from Muslim. Muslim is established, right? It says uh, the Jewish Ban Banu Sharu tribe is uh, interested of Slaka is uh, interested as one of the Jewish groups, right? So basically, they uh, you know under Muhammad, you know when you read uh, about from uh, Babylon Timbuktu and you do your other research, you know that whole uh, that whole thing was f orchestrated you know strategically you know to uh drive out the islam or the whole uh, ishmaelites you know from that land or right? um you know the land of israel and basically to establish that and basically we uh you know because that whole quran or whatever basically uh when you read when you put when you go on the internet you put the people of the book all right you know the people of the book are the israelites man so basically uh so the scribes and stuff they would write down our you know like biblical stories and basically uh you know they uh you know they had that whole mecca worship and all that you know because uh the arab they were worshiping all kind of different idols over there in mecca and basically, they had it under control, right? The Jew Israelites, right? The the, the so-called Byzantines, or uh, you know, of the Church, you know, of Constantinople. And basically, uh, you know, we had uh, basically once, uh, you know, Muhammad and that whole uh, engine started, uh, you know, was uh, was coming. It was like, you know, was bearing was being fueled you know a lot of our people they converted to islam you know got islam means to submit and uh, basically uh you know the the khazars some of them they uh followed you know like the judaism all right all right because they were following our laws trying to be a jew and basically uh the other khazars they followed Islam. All right, so um, I'm gonna go back 
into um, the golden age of the Moor, one nine, page 198. It says, uh, for Jews, it says, conversion to Islam was not forced. Uh, few Jews converted to Islam as they enjoyed freedom of worship, of worship and the right to live by their own custom and laws. The chief rabbi had had complete like, jurisdiction over the Jewish community, or not Jewish, they're just Jews, or should I said Judah, right? As uh, or the kingdom of Judah community. As a result, the Jews prospered in uh, various trades. They were. It said they were particularly active in the slave trade, right? And that's what it is, right? So even uh, you, you Edomites, uh, you know, there was hope that basically under the uh, under Rome, you know, with the whole, um, you know, the Crusades and all that, you know, that's why we all fell, right? Because you had the Ishmaelites. Then you had uh, the Crusades, you know, with the whole uh, Templar, you know, and basically uh, our people were, uh, you know, ship shipbuilders, and basically we were uh, were able, we were, uh, you know, men of the sea, all right. You read about the Portuguese and uh, the Spanish empires, you know, of the Americas and the world. All right, um, it's very in vast, so let me just uh, continue. It says it uh, it was until the coming of the of the Almorid in the 11th century that the Jews ended uh, endured endured uh, any notable like it says that the Jews endured any notable persecution and began fleeing into the into Christian dome of Andalus as uh, as well as uh, other Islamic lands right so basically uh, that's what it is so even if you you know you uh, if you haven't been to uh, Spain you know certain parts of uh, portugal there's a lot of uh, islamic culture right which we we would uh you know we basically we would build a whole the whole bunch of different you know like communities um you know they did uh, many things many wonderful wonderful things all right and uh, they're very knowledgeable of different science plants they had universities you know throughout uh, the, the throughout europe and uh, as well as uh, asia right and uh, throughout iran iraq you know it's a lot of different stuff um let's go uh, page uh 201 more society enjoyed such that record okay more society enjoyed such recurrent recreation of horse racing martmanship polo back gammon chess it says uh musical concerts all right so you know we were you know we were very living fat man But now you know but now like look at us here in the west all right all right and basically the heavenly father he's gonna restore us back man all right um me uh continue it's a literally salons it's a magic where uh, also attended by uh, the learned and the ruling class in in general all right so uh 
a lot of the ruling class like the nobles and uh, certain families ruling families they were uh, very uh, you know they would you know like they were very they were well learned all right and that's how it uh, it's always been all right and it's gonna go back to that right so the heavenly father he's gonna establish a lot of uh, you know even like even amongst the elect the heavenly father he's gonna um certain elect is gonna be on a, on on higher levels man all right you have um you know um you know you have the apostles you know and uh, the 12 you know what i mean you have king you have Yahushai, you know king david the 12 you know and then you have others members of the elect that the heavenly father is gonna uh he's gonna put them on a higher level but everybody's gonna have different level different offices we're gonna have different slaves all right because you know the slave trade's coming back man you see what they you see what these people are doing to the world man all right and you know a whole bunch of traffic you know uh of children and you know a whole bunch of stuff what's going on man so the heavenly father man he's, he's coming with a vengeance man if any revelation 13 and 9 if any man have an ear let him hear this is yahushai he that leave into captivity shall go into captivity so like how we went into captivity the cargo slave ship all right here in the west and as well as in the east right under the ishmaelites and you know all that you know you other nations man because all you nations were involved in the slave trade man all right and and are and are reaping you know the benefits you know of our of our downfall and still you have slavery right now you know well i'm gonna share uh this link of uh you know the islamic uh slave trade man all right and they were you know and these people are brutal man we're gonna get that here are the patience and the faith of the saints man so the heavenly father man he's gonna give us uh justice you know we're gonna get um I think Joel, Joel three, Joel three verse, uh, Joel three verse three, and they, they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for an harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Right. So with the whole transatlantic slave trade, the sub-Saharan slave trade, you know. Um, you know, there's a whole slave trade, man. You know, of our people that was being trafficked through all the, you know, uh, so called India, Iran, you know, throughout the West here in the Americas. All right, there's a big slave trade, man. And uh, the Yahushai, uh, he's gonna redeem us, man. All right, because, uh, you know we we're being up we're being oppressed man all right but especially the elect man and uh, the elect you know that we want back our uh you know that we're waiting for the, the you know for the heavenly father and his son you know to come you know and who's gonna redeem us man buy us back all right and you other nations man are gonna pay are gonna have to pay man yay what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? All right. So uh, you, uh, you Ishmaelites, you Arabs, you know, over there in that land of uh, Lebanon, you know, Turkey, you know, you Edomites, man, and all the coast of Palestine. So you, you uh, Ishmaelites, all right, and as well as you damn uh, Amalekites, man, you Edomites. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return a recompense upon your own head? Right? So, you know, that they're going to want to... You see, when the elect... When Yahushua comes, right? And the elect, you know, that they're going to want to pay... You know, like they're going to want to go pay the elect. Or, you know, you're not. You're going to have to pay, man. And you're going to have to swallow everything what you have done. 
unto Yahweh's chosen. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. And that's what happened, man. We know that when we're in the land, you know, you know, we had, uh, you know, the temple, you know, the Babylonians came and they destroyed our temple. You Edomites was there. You know, you were, uh, you know, like, you know, like you saw it was going down. All right. And you and you point us out, you know. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecian, right? So not just uh, you so-called uh, you so-called Negroes, you know, in Judah, you know, you, you ten, like, you know, like the ten tribes that was over here in the Americas, all right, because the, the tribes was already here, all right. Second Ezra is uh, thirteen and forty, all right. So unt it says sold unto the Grecians, right? And um, you know, and um, you know, also, so I'm gonna read that again. I need some water. Slack it up, brothers. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. So who's the Grecians, man? All right. You read about Maccabees. You know you Mac. You know when you read about um. Alexander the Great, you know, he's the, you know, he's the first one, you know, to uh, basically, uh, like, to conquer, you know, like, uh, you know, like, who conquered the world, you know, and basically, uh, we read about, you know, that Maccabees one, you know, says that evils were multiplied in the earth, man, you know, when you Edomites, you know, came to reign. And they're and they're and they're the same Edomites, you know, who's back in their stead. You know, they call them, uh, you know, Zionists or whatever, you know, you know. And so whole uh, you you small hats, man. You guys run the world, man. And you if you say anything bad about them, they strike your channel. They do all kinds of stuff, you know. So that's why we need Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because. But I will raise them out of the place whether you have sold them, and I will turn your recompense upon your own head, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of the children of Judah, and they shall and they shall sell them to the Sabians to a people afar off, for the Lord have spoken. You know, so you people over there in that land you now, um Sabia, I believe um, that would be in like the Persian region, you know, because they're all the Jake, you know, who's in that region. I and mean, we're, we're going to have us our own slave trade, man. All right. And uh, that's what's going to happen. All right. Let's get the uh, lamentation. All right. Lamentation four. And uh, 21 rejoice. And be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwells in the land of Uz, right? In, uh, you know, Uz, you know, was an ancient city over there in uh, Petra, you know, but now, you know, this is referring to the land of America, or right? And basically, like anywhere where you Edomites are, you know, any city, whatever, you know, because they run the world. Who runs NATO? Who runs the European Union, right? You know, the beast, right? And the cups also, I said the cup shall pass through unto thee. All right. So the heavenly Father, right? So he, like, he's, you know, he's gonna make you that like, drink the same cup of a sorrow, man, and pain. All right. Because you know, you know, that because we're drinking it. All right. Thou shalt be drunken and make thyself naked, man. So you, you like one day you're gonna wake up, man, and, you, and you, you're gonna your whole empire is gonna fall, man. You're gonna fall. The punishment and thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. All right. So that's when Yahweh Shai comes, all right, with his elect, all right, and uh, we don't know how he's going because we know, you know, how he's gonna come, you know, like through the word. But when we see it, man, you know, that we're going to be amazed, man. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will 
visit thy iniquity, O daughter Edom, he will discover thy sin. And that's what's going to happen, man. Alright. Um, there's a lot of different uh, points. Because there was a whole slave trade, man. You, a lot of you uh, Edomites, you guys were uh, down, man. And that's why they don't like us, man. Because they know. Like, they know their history. Alright? So, uh, you know, like, you know, like, that's why they had that disdain, you know, you know, for you so-called black men. Because they know who we are. Alright? And we were, uh, you know, we had, uh, you know, Harib, or like, we had, uh, what do you call them? Harems. You know, of different types of women. You know what I mean? That we, you know, that we had. And we had them, we had Edomites as servants, man. We had their women as uh, bed wenches, man. Concubines, man. Alright. Um, well, that's pretty much it. So with that, I'd like to say all praises do unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakwadash, the ones the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members that let hopefully this video is edifying. Um, the spirits uh, submit, if the spirit uh, on me, I could do more, but uh, I think that's pretty much it with that. So with that, Shalom.